and many different things as byproduct of this transaction and this transition, this journey from the head to the heart, many different things start to happen. Your heart begins to open. You develop being compassionate. You become sensitive. A lot of psychic powers may come to you. You may be able to develop the ability to heal. You may become clairaudient, hearing things, claircognizant, the ability to know, clairsentient, the ability to sense things, clairvoyant, to see things, because expansion begins to happen. You're waking up. You're becoming a real human being from being a robot. You feel things. And knowing and wisdom begin to take place. Because you begin to know yourself. You begin to realize the truth of who you are versus who you were brainwashed to believe you were, who you thought you were. Because when we're asleep, and who we think we are is ugly, it's needy, it's lonely, it's desperate, it's always in fear. Do you really like to look at yourself? Are you proud when you look at yourself in a mirror? Is this who you want to be? Living in fear, worry, anxiety, and always with your begging bowl that maybe someone gives you some love or something, or a little attention? Is this who you are supposed to be all your life? And with the change of wind and climate, your life completely turns ups and downs? Economy changes, government changes, the world temperature changes, and all of a sudden you're in fear and anxiety. Is this who you think you are? That small. Or you really want to take the chance and discover who you are? Are you willing to sacrifice everything for awareness? Are you willing to compromise, to be efficient, to be mechanical so you can produce more or add more objects to your life or you're willing to, to invest in your awareness and to be awake and aware and to realize who you are is immune to fear and depression and heartbreak and ups and downs. Do you really want to find out who you are? Because you're a lot more than what you think you are. You're vast. And at the center of your being, you carry the torch and the power of love. The true love comes from you. You are the center of that, not from someone else or a circumstance. You're the one who generates that. You're the one who have God inside you. How can you forget this and fall asleep and become a beggar when you're the king? When you're the queen, not a beggar. For that, we need to turn inwards to discover the truth of who we are, not who we think we are. And I think it's worth the investigation since we have nothing to lose and everything to gain.
You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Again, I mentioned this in the beginning. I said this is not a belief. This is not a cult. This is not dogmatic. I asked you to question everything. Question me. Question everything. I want you to find this out for yourself. Discover this for yourself directly. No literatures, no system, no nothing that someone else has said. You go inside and turn your intention inwards and see what you find. Look for the witness. Look for this part of you which is always here and still and it's unchanging. Anybody has any questions? I'll be more than happy to answer your question to the best of my ability. You can either wave at me or unmute yourself or uh, you can write on a chat box and then I will unmute you and we can talk with each other. And uh, and don't be afraid to ask your question. It doesn't matter. If it feels to you it's silly, it doesn't matter. You, it won't make any difference. Hi, Pietra. Hi, nice, nice to see you. Yeah, likewise. I have a question. Um, Please. I practice the awareness of being with myself, um, but still it's like I, um, I'm thrown off my center, maybe when someone attacks me or through when I'm uh, in my job or something like this. And is it only the practice that makes that I can stay in my center or is it something else that you can tell me <laughs> right. how I can manage to, to stay there? Because sometimes it's difficult for me um, yeah, in daily life to stay there. I'm much more aware of this. Sometimes I realize, oh, okay, I'm outside again. I have to go to myself. But, but it's still shifting. Right. Okay. So the one thing you can do is, so you mentioned first that, uh, first thing you said is sometimes at work somebody attacks you or they say something that you feel offended or they're insulting you or they throw you off of your center. Correct? So one thing you want to do is maybe you want to write a note for yourself and every day before you go to work, you tell yourself, I'm looking forward in someone trying to throw me out of my center today. So you're consciously walking into your work environment, inviting somebody to come to say something which normally triggers you. So you're going to use your work environment turning the poison into medicine and being grateful for someone to come and insult you because you're going to use them and their insult to practice being still. <laughs>